about Iowa. In 2008, he spent a lot of time and money in the state and came in second in the caucuses. He doesn't want to make that mistake again, so he's working harder in other states. But now Rick Perry is the front runner. And the only thing that looks like it can slow him is a scandal or if Sarah Palin gets in the race. If Perry wins Iowa, Romney's organization in later states might not stop his momentum. Advisors are arguing Romney has to take on Perry early to keep him from getting too big. That's what John Kerry had to do in 2004 to stop Howard Dean. Romney shifted his posture to take on Perry in the debates. He'll have to decide in a month or so whether he'll do the same kind of thing on the ground in Iowa. The problem for Romney is he's not a cultural fit with Iowa voters. Rick Perry is playing on this. Comparing himself to Romney, the Texas governor said, I was the son of tenant farmers and sure wasn't born with four aces in my hand. I thought only Democrats engaged in class warfare. Perry is creating a cultural bond with voters. He's the authentic representative of their aspirations and their life. The Texas governor has taken a little flack from conservatives for pushing the HPV vaccine and immigration policies. And the question is, does this cultural connection, the idea he's imperfect but one of us, give Perry a shield against attacks on the specifics of his Texas record? While Republicans fight it out, Democrats can only hope to make hay of whatever party splits might arise during the primaries. They can only dream to be as lucky as Lyndon Johnson was in 1964. Here's an ad from that campaign. Thanks for watching. Back in July in San Francisco, the Republicans held a convention. Remember him? He was there. Governor Rockefeller. Before the convention, he said Barry Goldwater's positions can, and I quote, spell disaster for the party and for the country. Or him, Governor Scranton. The day before the convention, he called Goldwaterism a, quote, crazy quilt collection of absurd and dangerous positions. Or this man, Governor Romney. In June, he said Goldwater's nomination would lead to the, quote, suicidal destruction of the Republican Party. So, even if you're a Republican with serious doubts about Barry Goldwater, you're in good company. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home.